hey what's up guys welcome to my channel so in today's video we're going to discuss about how you can make your html responsive by just adding one single line of css code in your html Damn! so let's begin to use css grid to create a super cool image grid which varies the amount of columns with the width of the screen so and the most beautiful part is the responsiveness so the responsiveness will be added with the single line of css so this means we don't have to clutter up with the html with ugly css names like column sm4 column md8 or create media query for every single screen size now let's jump into it so first of all the thing is setup so first of all let's discuss about this setup so we do not need much things here I have just created uh, this six tips here inside a container and added some basic CSS for colors and border and I'm using grid system here so we, we are just going saying like display grid and uh, the column width should be 100 100 and 100 pixel for all three columns and the row should be 50 pixel that means row height should be 50 pixel that means two rows and three columns grid layout it is going to make so here you can see so it has created uh, three columns with two rows a simple grid for me and i have added a red and green color here so i am using another child here for even and out that means every even uh, column will have this background color and every odd column will have this uh, red background color so this is all we need to start <coughs> so now you can see we have this thing uh, but it is not responsive you can see it is not responsive right so now we have to make it responsive but by just adding one single line of css here so for this what we need to do is we just need to add some basic responsiveness with the fraction unit so css grid brings with the with it a whole new value which is called fraction unit so the fraction unit is written like fr and it allows you to split the container into as many fraction as you want so let's change each of the columns to be one fraction unit wide so we just need to remove this pixel here and we just need to add one fraction one fraction and one fraction and let's save it if I save it you can see it has taken the entire width of the, the particular section and it become responsive as well because if I try to resize the width of the screen you can see it is automatically adjusting the width of the container and also the columns so as you can see, as you can see with one single line of code it, it becomes responsive but still here we have one issue it is not complete responsive and what if i want to give different sizes to a particular column as you can see each column is getting reduced in size equally doesn't matter the size of the screen each and every column is in same size right so the width is still same but what if i want to make it dynamic so we can do something like this let's suppose if i wanted to make our middle column a uh, little wider than the other column so we can make change it to fr that means two fraction values now you can see the middle column is little wider than the right and left columns so now if i try to reduce the size or we can just use this css responsiveness here and if i try to adjust it into any screen like 13 11 or iphone x it is automatically going to adjust the screen based on the size so it doesn't matter it is working perfectly fine so in other words the fraction unit value makes it super easy for you to change the width of the columns so next thing is advanced responsiveness so however the example you have seen doesn't give us the responsiveness we want as this grid will always be three columns wide and uh, we want our grid to vary uh, the amount of columns 
with the width of the container. To achieve that, you will have to learn three new concepts. So the first thing is repeat function. So we will start with the repeat function. This is a more powerful way of specifying your columns and rows. So let's take uh, our original grid and change it to using repeat. So what we have to do here is, so we will start with the repeat function. This is more powerful way to specifying your columns and rows. So let's take our original grid and change it to using repeat function. So now what we have to do is we just need to add repeat function here and we just need to pass the number of columns that we need and the width that we need. Similar thing we will do with the grid as well. Two and 50 pixel. All right. So now we will see it is no longer responsive because we have removed the fraction. So now what we have to do is we just need to, as you can see, we have added hard coded values here. So the 100 pixel and three columns will always be there. So, so nothing to be shocked why it is not responsive, right? <laughs> so now what we have to do is we have a property called auto fit. So what auto fit does it, it automatically, so as you can see now, all the columns in a single line. So basically what it is going to do is it is adjusting based on the screen sizes now. So what it is going to happen here now, if I reduce the size of the width screen, you can see it is automatically going to be adjusted based on the size screen size available. Right. So this is little helpful because it's a dynamic now. And uh, but the problem here is still the size of the column is 100 pixel because we are hard coding it here, right? Now we have solved. Well, now we have solved our one problem that it is uh, automatic now. But the thing is, it is still 100 pixel. So the grid. <coughs> so now grid now varies the amount of columns with the width of the container. So it simply tries to fit as many 100 pixel wide columns into the container as possible. However, if we hard code all columns to be exactly 100 pixel, we will never get the flexibility we want. So as uh, they all rarely add up to the full width. Uh, so as you can see the here, as you can see here, the grid often leaves white space on the right hand side. Here you can see. And when we try to reduce the size, then only it will fill it up because we do not have enough columns. That's why that section is showing empty here. But now thing is, I want to make it dynamic. So it is automatically, it should automatically adjust the width uh, with the available space. So for, for that, we have min max function. So we will simply replace the 100 pixel here with our minimax code. So here is the final CSS that we need to write, which is uh, mini max, sorry, mini max, yes, min max, not mini max, min max, max function. And uh, we just need to pass our uh, 100 pixel and uh, we will add one fraction here. So let's see what happened here now. Let's increase the little size here too. Oh, sorry, my bad. It should be pixel. So now you can see it is automatically adjusted based on the available space or container you can say based on the container width each and every column is divided into equal values so notice that all the responsiveness happen in a single line of css right so our entire column is adjusted so what does it mean by minimax function what this function is doing here so uh, uh, as you can see uh, that uh, this thing is working perfectly now. So the minmax function defines a size range greater than or equal to 
min and less than or equal to max so basically i repeat again the min max function defines a size range greater than or equal to min or less than or equal to max so the columns will now always be at uh, least 100 pixel however if there are more available space the grid will simply distribute equally to each of the columns as the columns turns into a fraction unit instead of 100 pixel so now let's make it a image grid so now you can see i have added some images instead of uh, those one two three four number and now you can see our ui has been broken entirely and uh, if i try to yes it's, it is still responsive as you can see but the problem is the image sizes every image has different size right so that is the problem so for this we just can fix it with a single line of css we what we just need to do here is instead of this div instead of this div we can write something like this every div or every image inside div and remove this odd from here it should have a width of 100% height of 100% and let's see it is fixed so now you can see so now we have this image grid and you can see it is totally responsive based on the size it has it is going to adjust automatically based on the available width so now i have added some images here as you can see and uh, we have uh, we have added this extra css so these images can be fit in the screen but the problem is images are getting stretched as you can see this uh, aeroplane image should not be like this and this cat image should not be like this these are stretched little right based on the width available because we have added 100 pixel of width of the grid row that's why it is uh, creating problem so for this what we can do here is we just have to do is object fit and cover so now you can see basically uh, object fit cover uh, that this will make the image cover its entire container and the browser will crop if it is needed so this is what it is happening you can see all images are exactly fitted into the column okay now so let's look at the end result perfect it is working perfectly fine now right so that's it you now know one of the most complex concept in css grid so give yourself a pat on the back and uh, so let's talk about the browser support so as you can see here in this section this means that if you write some grid layout code in firefox it should work in the same way in chrome as well so there is no longer an experimental specification and you are safe to use it in production that's a good news right now you can make your website responsive by just adding single end of css code and you can get rid of media queries so guys that's all for today and uh, now you are free to use css grid and uh, you can make your website responsive by just adding one single line of css code into your html file and that's all you need to do you can get rid of your media queries <laughs> that you need to write for each and every screen size and that is really hectic you can say so i will uh, i will recommend you to start using css grid it is really awesome uh, it is a little complex in the start but once you get used to it it is really awesome i i, I can give you guarantee on that i have used my limit many times and as you can see it is official now that uh, uh, the css grid layout uh, code in fire whatever you write css layout code in firefox that should exactly work into the chrome as well so this is no longer a experimental specification i would say and uh, you are safe to use into the production so so that's all guys you, you just need to write one single line <laughs> css code to make your grid responsive and this is really awesome yes so guys if uh, so guys if you want me to create more videos on css grid on this particular topic so just comment it down here and let me know so 
or any other topic that you want me to create videos on that just comment down into the section so i can get to know that you want uh, this type of videos so i will create more videos on that those topics so that's all for today guys i hope you have learned something today and if you did just give thumbs up to this video and subscribe to my channel by clicking on this red button and don't forget to uh, press the bell icon okay and uh, that's all for today guys uh, thank you so much for watching have a good day and happy holidays